All right, guys, here I am at Dr. Tabik's office in Brooklyn and Bar Park, and I have here Dr. Jason Tabik, and we're going to discuss today about posture. So, Dr. Jason, can you tell us a little about yourself? Let's give us the 30,000 feet overview about you. And Sure. So, uh, I have um, experience as a personal physical trainer uh, before I became a specific chiropractor. I was a trainer for about seven years. I um, just had always had an interest in the human form. Um, it's amazing. And then uh, that brought me into being a specific chiropractor. So today I am a, a specific chiropractor and I focus on the brainstem, which is the most important part of the nerve system. And that's what I do here in Brooklyn. Very nice. All right, so about posture, is, is there anything that we can do? What can you tell us about posture? Well, that's a big subject. Um, I believe posture is very important. It, it's directly connected to the health of the human, whether we're talking about the health of a muscle or the health of an organ, digestion, sleeping, anything. So it is very important and it does dictate health. Um, now, how do I mean, do you want to talk about maintaining posture? Right, so or? We, 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 a lot of time we talk about, we see people slouching over desks, mm -hmm. and is there something to do about it? Is it ever a problem to have forward posture? Um, well, it's, it's definitely, you have to think of poor posture as like a car accident, but not as large and not at one moment, but as a million car accidents that are very, very small that occur constantly. So you're doing damage to the tissue in a very small way, but constantly as opposed to the car accident. So really you want to, you want to learn how to, what is proper posture right. and what are some easy ways to get it into your conscious mind to practice proper posture when you are reading, when you're at a desk, uh, mostly it's always sitting that's most of the problem for a human but even standing and so that way you know performing a performing exercises and being taught again what is proper posture and how to <clears throat> how to maintain that during an exercise I have found is is a way to um, is a way to help to change the posture in someone effectively is is doing it during an exercise where there's a lot of concentration only on the exercise not on a computer screen because you can always try and fix your posture while you're sitting on a screen looking at something but again it's not it's not going to be as effective as during exercise mm -hmm. so is there a particular should they be sitting in a certain fashion it should is the, is the chair at fault should they change chairs or change desks should they I mean, honestly, I, I really like to, there's things you can say about chairs and about, you know, what's the best bed, what's the best chair, what's the best shoes. Um, but what I have to say is, is getting the nerve system checked and we can talk about that more and exercising properly and being taught by a professional what is proper posture and how to maintain it. That will allow you to sometimes have the not so great posture because we can't always think, well, let's be perfect all the time and have perfect posture and let's sit here perfectly all the time because this is still not proper posture because I'm, my knees are, my hips are, are flexed and my low back is, is going to feel weak after a while in this position. So it's good to try to have good posture while sitting, but really it's as long as you have a, a, a frequent mixture of proper posture exercise, you don't have to worry so much all the time about the posture. Because if I say to you, well, as long as you just bring the chin in and keep the head level, you're, you'll be fine. That's not really going to be effective because the muscles are not really being strengthened in that position right. so much. So the exercise is really what makes the change. How much exercise does one have to do to improve their posture? Well, there are there are exercises that can and I believe I believe should be done at least five days a week. That in a small routine uh, on on a personal level at home upon waking that can be done. But with uh, <clears throat> I also believe that people should work out with a professional. Um, personal trainers are not just 
they're not here to make money. Uh, I've, like I said, I've been a personal trainer for seven years and um, there is a very specific way to properly exercise. If done wrong, you are training yourself improperly. You're creating tissue damage. You're creating poor posture. Right. So you have to think about why is a personal trainer so important? Is you are, if you don't do it right, you're not doing nothing. You're doing damage. Mm-hmm. So that, that's, that's very important in that aspect. But and Do you feel that with exercises and range stem, you said that you needed, the, the nerve damages might be involved with, with bad posture, can that be reversed? Right, so you said brain stem. So, so then now that kind of comes into what I do as a specific chiropractor. The brain stem, uh, very simply put, is so the soft spot in the back of the skull is where the brainstem actually exits the skull. And it is it is the culmination, it is the coming together of all of the nerve tissue from the brain. Now, the brain is protected in the skull, but the brainstem comes out and through the first two bones of the neck. The first two bones are meant to protect the brainstem because it is the most vital part of the body. The brainstem because it is all of the nerves from the brain, it carries all of the information that beats our heart, that flows the blood, that helps us breathe, that does everything. So it's protected by these first two bones, but it can be also what we call blocked. It can experience compression from one of the top two bones. And everything below can experience a, a lack of of that information from the brain to the body. And that's where posture comes in because improper posture is really going to create that compression on that brainstem and further the problem of weakened muscles in the lower part of the spine, in the limbs, and also vitally in our organs because our organs are muscles just like the the muscles in the arms and legs. So the brainstem is, is very, it's important for the whole body, even just beyond posture. But that's where the connection is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The brainstem controls the body, and it is that vital area, and the poor posture can cause a blockage in that brainstem. So how long, or what do you, like how long to do you expect that it should take to, to fix that, that, that? Um... Um, it's, a, it's a simple, easy answer. Um, the age of the patient and the age of the spine is often um, for for say a we I mean we help we help newborns so we help newborns to we have a patient that came in this morning that was ninety six years old so the day you come in however old you are if there's a problem it's contingent upon your age but you know for a thirty year old two three months of care it should be fine. Um, depending on what damages are done to the spine. And right. we, we only, we do things very safely and precisely. So we use x-ray, we have our own x-ray equipment here. Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't adjust the spine without knowing exactly what we're dealing with. Uh, for someone a little older, um, with, with more chronic problems that have occurred at a younger age, it may take a little longer, but it's a, it's a very specific way of finding out and knowing exactly how long it's going to take. So the exercises you do along with the treatment or after the three months, two, three months? I think, I think you're understanding that it's after. Okay. Because if you are having a lack of flow from the brain to, let's say, a muscle, you, we think of, of someone who's paralyzed. All of the nerve is cut off, say, to the arm. What happens to the arm? The arm gets, gets very small. It gets atrophied. The muscles are not vis- visualized anymore. You only see bone. So without the nerve to the muscle, the muscle just dies off. So when someone is having that compression, not to the same degree as someone who is paralyzed, but partial compression, a loss of partial nerve flow, the arm is going to be weak. So a weak muscle is a weak joint. A weak joint experiences pain. Chronically, you have pain all the time, comes and goes. So it would not do anything to exercise the muscle until we restore the nerve flow to the arm. So what we do is in the last few weeks of care, we begin to um, either refer to someone to train and just give them some things to do to begin to strengthen once we know for sure that the nerve flow is restored 
from the brainstem to the part of the body. That's great news. Wow, they can actually reverse posture with yeah. this therapy. Very good. Absolutely. Anything else that you want to share? Um, I just, I really think that it's, it's important for everyone to use a personal trainer. Um, myself being, having been a personal trainer and I, now I go to a personal trainer because, you know, even though, even though someone who knows how to work out and has done it for a long time, everyone still has someone who guides them, who has a coach in life, you know, a mentor. So it's important to seek out and to find a good qualified personal trainer. Um, you know, the reason why I became a brainstem specialist is because it's, I always struggled with why can't I get more flexibility in this person's shoulders, in this person's neck, or in their hips? Why do they lean forward all the time? And I began to realize that there's, this, there's something that had to be done before the personal training. And so, now I love to do both, but you know, now, you know, now that we have this relationship, you know, I'll do my part, you do your part. But uh, I think that, yeah, it's very helpful for people. I mean, I am, I believe that you don't have to be an athlete. You don't have to be a, a spectacular, you know, lift all the weights in the world. But it is important for everyone to move. Because once we can't move anymore, then we're sad. Right. And we regret. So we don't want to wait till then. Right. So thank you very much. But let me ask you, where can anyone get in touch with you if they want to use your services? Um, they can look on New York Specific Chiropractic website. Um, using the Facebook page is, a, is an easy way to do. Go on New York Specific Chiropractic Facebook page. Um, you can see some posts about just some information that I'm always trying to put out into the community. Um, we do, um, you can contact me through that website, through that Facebook page and we do complimentary consultations. So if you are someone who, something that I've said strikes a chord and you feel like you know this may be a help for you, um, we do a complimentary consult and we can qualify you to see if there is actually some sort of blockage in the brainstem or not. We have, uh, we have equipment here that we can decipher that on this free visit. And that's why we're successful. Um, we, this is not an experiment. We don't adjust the patient without knowing if there is a need or not. So mm -hmm. if we find that problem, then we can help you 100%. Is there a phone number they can reach you at? Uh, yeah, the number is 503-679-5035, and that's a number directly to the office. All right, great. Thank you very much. Thank you. My pleasure.